Hey fair fam and welcome to the channel. Today I have a prep video for you but don't worry I'm still uploading as normal tomorrow as well. This is just to make up for my absence on Tuesday's stream day where I was obtaining this meat in this video and I'm going to be showing you labeling, portioning, and showing how I cut a whole dressed wild duck and semi-dressed whole rabbit which is a whole ton of fun. I love showing the process of that but it's not going to be the most fancy schmancy prep ever. I plan to do more elaborate prepping videos in the future once we move and I will be prepping for multiple animals at a time which will be super fun. I plan on doing a whole different process that will be more entertaining to watch and to learn from. So this one's kind of mediocre but it's just realistic you know i don't do anything fancy um, i just i'm using baggies right now um it's not super interesting <laughs> but i just figured i would show it because why not you know some people can benefit and please if you're interested in natural feeding do go through my raw feeding playlist and preferably the newer videos as well as my website so these items were purchased at the market for a total of like 95 dollars if you want to know how much i spend on a month-to-month -month basis for five young ferrets i have it all on my instagram highlights and i also have a video on my channel I did also get quail and duck eggs and according to sources online they should stay good up to six weeks in the fridge duck eggs uh, maybe a little bit less than that totally depends and there are many methods of testing egg freshness which you can google so i um, just wanted to throw that out there that i did get that but i'm not showing it in this video so the first food item i'm prepping is just what's left over from their meal from this morning i did get two whole ducks so this is not the one I'm actually going to be showing how to cut. I will be showing that more later. And yeah, so this is also some Cornish hen that I had left over from their meal as well. Uh, Cornish hen is super, super easy to cut and it is very soft as well. I just kind of quarter it, not even. Sometimes I'll just split it in half, remove the limbs and so on. Duck gizzard is something I got just for fun. Gizzard is very tough and chewy, which helps engage the muscles in the mouth. My ferrets also really enjoy them and have I've never had them from duck before. They do not contain bones, so I usually feed them alongside bone heavy foods or if stools are too firm. So right now I'm portioning a quail because I already took them out of the original packaging to feed some for dinner last night. And they are super tiny and are so easy to cut down right through the center. I usually store them whole because they are just so small. My ferrets can finish like two quails in one meal, but I try to spread it out for variety's sake and will add parts of quail instead of feeding a meal of solely quail, if that makes sense. Quail is roughly 10% bone, and again, it is very soft, making it great for ferrets, and it's just a nice game bird to feed in your rotation. I like to pick up pigeons and or partridge as well, but due to expense, I opted for two packages of quail, which totals at about 12 quail. On to the fun part, which is the whole duck. And I actually have a post on my website comparing wild duck that I got from the same place to a farmed duck, which is super cool to see the nutritional and visible differences between the two. But anyways, so the first thing I do is remove the head. While my ferrets like duck heads and brains, it makes Tanji gag, so I'll save it for my raw feeding friends. Then I do the neck and I remove all the limbs, which you saw, as well as the duck tail, as I call it. And my ferrets will eat the wings and the legs with feet attached, and I will store them together as well. These are pretty bone heavy. And now I'm just going to cut the excess skin because there is quite a bit on a duck. And I just split the carcass right down the center, revealing the frame. And if the heart is still attached, it will be fed also. Nothing goes to waste, and it is packed in healthy taurine and vitamins. For this bird, I didn't see any heart on it, unfortunately, but it's whatever. And I will pack package the frames just like this after quartering them. So I cut them in four pieces total. And again, duck is also pretty soft, so it is super easy to just cut with my shears. And that is how I cut a whole dressed wild duck. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to be prepping is duck wings. And they are not a huge favorite 
uh, with the ferret crew but because this particular market doesn't sell duck neck i was low on options for meaty bone duck wings are about 39 percent bone and i package these whole because they are quite small and briefly uh, just to talk about what i'm using right now to prep is just a pair of shears and a cutting mat i don't weigh things right now because i've gotten really good at eyeballing but i do plan to do more calculated preps once i move back home and again we'll be prepping for multiple animals at the same time so um, i'll definitely need to be calculating things more specifically then so i'm just going to do it for all of the animals i'll link below the shears that i use i absolutely adore them and haven't really needed to use a cleaver since i've gotten them really and so the next thing i actually kind of forgot about so that's why it's in a different location which is rabbit and i've never gotten rabbit from this market before so i wasn't sure what to expect but i am quite pleased it's the whole rabbit minus the head feet and it does contain the heart kidneys and liver which i'll show you in just a second they usually kind of tuck the legs in and they do this also for like the duck and other birds just to keep things more compact I'm actually removing the legs to save for dinner tonight for the humans <laughs> so for me and Brian we'll be having rabbit leg but I would just remove the limbs like I would on the duck and open up the frame and reveal what's inside which is usually not much because it is semi-dressed so it does have the cute little kidneys which I find are super adorable a very tiny heart and a liver and then you just have like the ribs left over which my ferrets love rabbit ribs and some good meat it just makes for a really really good protein to feed and rabbits are what ferrets would normally eat and they were bred to hunt rabbits so it is something that i like to try and put in their rotation every week if i can afford it because it is a pretty expensive protein but if you can do it do it Anyways, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow in a brand new video. Thanks guys. Bye.